Welcome, everybody, to day 25 of playing follow. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm hidden. <laughs> Welcome to day 25 of playing uh, Fallout 76. Got a great show for you today. I'm still really jet lagged, apparently, because it's uh, 2 p.m. and I'm just now starting my stream. Something crazy is going on in the game. But another reason is that I stayed up pretty late last night finishing my final um, lore video for the Yes Man ending to New Vegas. And that I will publish tomorrow. So I got it done. It was a big project, but um, that's what kept me up late last night. Anyway, also, <clears throat> in addition to working on uh, my Yes Man video, yesterday was also my little family's Christmas party because everyone was flying all over the country and doing things over Christmas. Th those of us who lived locally hadn't had a chance to get together yet. So we went and had a, a, a birthday celebration combination Christmas exchange, and I got this from my mom. I, I get this every year from my mom. She used to make this for my dad, and these are called rum balls. It's a non-cooked pastry <clears throat> filled with rum. Sorry, I'm up on my microphone. I'm really excited. I only get these once a year. It's like, it's like a crushed cookie with cocoa powder and sugar on top. Attention patriotic citizens. This is Sergeant Gutsy ABA-1. A United States Army convoy has been attacked. Send authorities and able-bodied individuals to the Robco Research Facility ASAP. ABA-1, out. It's not cooked. So the rum is really strong. <laughs> and I have to keep it closed or else it'll evaporate away. They're great. All right. That's enough for now. We gotta get to the game. And of course my coffee. Okay, here's the plan. <clears throat> I've been reading <clears throat> many of your messages on my live stream videos. One user said, there is very interesting mole miner lore at Brim Quarry. So we want to go there. Then, <clears throat> somebody told me that I missed a body um, at the base of the Overlook by the Munitions Factory in our last episode. So I want to go back to the Munitions Factory just to see if I can find that corpse. Then, someone told me that there's a birthday party table set out with a bunch of rare hats on a mountaintop above Attention the Tyler... Citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest Ooh. convenience. Not on top of me. Thank you for your cooperation. Anyway, uh, there's a, a party with a bunch of rare hats at a picnic table on a mountaintop overlooking the Tyler County Fairgrounds. So... Uh, we could go there, and then that's really all I have planned for today, but I'm open to sub uh, suggestions to, to see if there's anything else we can do. Okay, back to the game. All right, so here we are where we left off at the end of last, uh, our last episode. I haven't moved an inch. Well, I did move an inch because I almost got attacked by a Scorch Beast. Marsupial, yay. 
So there is the... Ah. Oh, come on! I just don't want to waste the time right now. Oh my gosh, I'm just blinded! gonna waste all my ammunition just trying to get this thing down. So not worth my time. Hey, there's the nuke. Oh, now he's coming after me. <laughs> uh. Okay, <laughs> now let's take a look at my map. Okay, the Brim Quarry is in the Ash Heap. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be, so it's gonna... Hold on, just got a text. Uh, okay, so Ash Heap. And I'm surrounded by the Blight. Let's uh, get out of here because this is just distracting. And let's first of all go back to camp. <clears throat> ah. It spawns me right in the middle of the rock. I was told during my last stream that I could move this to change my spawn location. So let's put this in the cabin. Hold on, getting a text again. Always happens when I start streaming. All right. Uh, okay, let's take a look at our ammunition. Well, okay, that does need to get repaired right now. Oh, so does my shotgun. Well, I'm glad I didn't sit there and fight that thing. I wouldn't have had the ammunition to survive. Sup, so, let's craft some ammunition.
Let's see, where are we at now? We've got 132. I need some more. Oh, I forgot to equip my... Ah! Ammo Smith. There we go. That should give me more bang for the buck. And I'm really getting low on lead. And I'm out of plastic. Oh, no. Well, let's go to energy ammo and craft up some... I really need to go on a resource run. Out of steel. Maybe I'll find some in the mine. That should, uh, that should do it. Oh, but now I can't repair my weapons. Well, I can. Okay. Whew. Now, the lever action rifle I have, is it suppressed? Night Vision Vicious lever action rifle. Yes, it is suppressed. So let's go ahead and scrap the one I have just to get the mods. Sweet tuned receiver. Okay, one second. Responding to another text. Sorry, I know this is fascinating, but it's important. I got to do it right now. I will have to get back to that in just a minute, but for now we can get uh, going on here. Now let's see, I haven't modified my weapons in a long time. Let's see exactly. Uh, it's my brother, for those who are curious. He needs help with something. Let's see exactly. What mods I have left. Because <clears throat> I'd love the... Uh... I don't have it. Oh, I do have the drum magazine. And it's steel that I need. Let's see, that brings up my... I've got the Swift magazine. Superior ammo capacity. Well, what is my ammo capacity? Is it not going to tell us? So I just need more steel. Pessy says, uh, Hey, Oxhorn, greetings from Finland. Love your videos. Thank you, Pessy. Liama Liama with a tip. Thank you, Liama Liama. Scott says, Fort Venture has a ton of Brotherhood of Steel lore. Roger, Max, and Holotape's been there. Yes, I have. And I have thoroughly scoured it. Da Girl Gamer says, love the vids. Keep them up. Thanks, Da Girl Gamer. 
Jay McKibe says, just spent almost all day rebuilding my camp, but when I see bushes popping up like on uh, yours, Ox, I get crazy to cover them up. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone's having a good time with their camp. All right, let me see if I can... Tons of texts. It's my family. They always, <laughs> they don't know. Uh, they don't. They don't really know that I'm doing that. I'm doing a stream right now, and so they're trying to. can't do this right now. So, back to the game. Ah! Jack Wolf says, munitions don't change character models. You look funny as a half wallaby mutant. Oh, mutations. That's right. Oh, well, there's always fan art. Uh, yeah, thankfully they don't change the way you look. Okay, uh, let's go to the Green Briar, or I'm sorry, the White Springs, and see what mods they have available. Actually, let's deposit some of the costumes that we've gotten. I, I'm trying to collect, since clothing is really light, I'm trying to collect some stuff. I got a black cowboy hat, a chef hat, ranger hat, the ranger outfit. It's all real light. Let's go and scrap that heavy combat armor leg. Whoops! Whoops! Did I just scrap a tor- Ha! <laughs> I just scrapped my power armor torso! Or my, my power armor frame! And it dumped all of my- <laughs> This is what I get for playing distracted. It dumped all of my power armor into my inventory. And I meant to scrap the heavy combat armor left leg. Okay. Well, that was stupid. Okay, let's go get another suit of power armor just so that we can move around. And uh, hopefully we'll find another power armor frame. Let's get... I have three? Let's see... That, oh, that's right, my T-51. My X-01. And my Ultra Sight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that off and then put that on. And we're going to hop in this one. Store these. Whoop. And put them back here. And we're good to go. <clears throat> All right. One second. And then we'll head to White Spring.
Now, I haven't uh, tried cooking up here yet. <sighs> Scott says, been to Tangara Town. What did you think of it? I have been to Tangara Town. We did that in a previous broadcast, and it was a lot of fun. citizens nuclear strike imminent another nuke please exit the area at your earliest convenience Acadian gaming with a tip thank you Acadian gaming let's see where's the nuke gonna be ah down there oh we got somebody here oh uh thank you thank you I'm gonna be very polite Thank you. I have plenty of fusion cores. I don't I don't really need them, but it's very kind and uh, I, I do appreciate it. But I think you should save them or sell them for your own for your own needs. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to White Springs. Actually, let's go to the service entrance. All right, moving forward. Someone is pretending to be you on the Xbox One Ox. Well, <clears throat> Not much I can do about that, but everybody knows I'm a PC gamer, so I, I don't think it'll fool very many people. Oh, did I miss it? All right, let's try that again. Emergency protocols, <clears throat> headlamp, red tactical, and rusty knuckles. No luck. PW Dexter says, hey, Oxhorn, I was in a funk after returning from deployment. And your videos were one of the few things I looked forward to. 
I'm much better now and look forward to more. Thank you. Well, thank you very much <clears throat> for watching. One second, got another text from my brother. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, first on the list is let's try that one quarry. Brim quarry, it's in the ash heap and I don't know exactly where it is. So let's just go to the ash heap and look around. Actually, no, let's, let's first go up to the munitions factory. Where was it? Yeah, and let's check that corpse. See if we can find it. Okay, so there was over here. Ox, drink something. Yeah, <clears throat> I will. In a minute. Not even marsupial will get me up there. Ah. Nope. Oh man, I need I may need to go around. Okay, there's the munitions factory. So let's go up around the side so we don't anger anyone over there. I don't really want to claim it right now. Okay, then they said, <clears throat> find the overlook, and I believe there's the overlook. Then at the, oh, there's someone there, really. The scout's rifle has a kick.
Okay, and then at the base of the overlook, a corpse with something interesting on it, they said. All right, well, let's go to the ledge here. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Civil War reenactor? <laughs> what? <clears throat> Appalachia Landmarks Philippi Cemetery. Hey, hey, folks. It's your favorite tour guide, Dick Shale. Appalachia has several historical landmarks worth visiting while you're in the area. Today, I'd like to tell you about Philippi's Battlefield Cemetery, where the first land battle of the Civil War took place. Learn more about this important chapter in Appalachian history when West Virginia was still a part of Virginia. Make sure to stop by the museum to see all the authentic uniforms, weapons, and equipment actually used in the Civil War. We'll see you there. <laughs> <clears throat> cool. And then we get a Civil War era top hat. Plans for a Civil War era top hat. Let's see. Oh, I've got a lot of plans to read. Here we go. Ox, get the smoke signals for the vertebrate. They are on the landing pad in a box. Yeah, a lot of people were telling me to do that last time, but I really don't want to. I mean, they're just additional weight. I don't really feel like carrying grenades around with me. And I will never use them. Oh, I still have this chainsaw. Okay, <clears throat> now that we've done that, let's try and go to the ash heap. See if we can find that mine. Well, where could it be? Uh, I haven't discovered it yet. The rusty pick. What's the rusty pick? Well, we may just need to head down there and see if we can find any unmarked locations. So let's go to the Charleston Fire Department and then walk south. Now, it'll be cheaper if we go to the camp first. <coughs> Joseph says, has have some caps for the journey. Thank you very much, Joseph. Everyone says, drink, drink. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll drink. You still have ligma, says Kevin. Do I? Do I still have Ligma? All right. Hey, it changed my spawn location. All right. Ooh, do I got any purified water? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know if I can make disease cure. Let's, I'm not sure if I've learned that recipe yet. Or if I even have the materials. Uh. Disease cure forest. I need blood leaf. Fire cap and snap tail reeds. Wow, that's a lot. <clears throat> that's a lot. Two of each for one disease cure? Crack firecracker berry, glowing resin, or wild blackberry. 
glowing fungus, strangler bloom, and strangler pod. <clears throat> and it requires pharmacist and chemist. Holy cow. This one just requires pharmacist. This one requires nothing. So this is the one that I could make. Oh, there is one in the Savage Divide. Oh, but that requires... Oh, okay. Yeah, those are the two I saw. Well, uh, okay. Looks like I'll keep my eyes out for all of that, but I don't have it yet. Am I diseased? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Well, then let's drink and eat something. Kevin says, can you smell what the rock is cooking? <clears throat> um, yes, I, I have that olfactory sensation quite often. So thank you, rock, for cooking. Whatever it is you're cooking. Then, let's head down here. To the Charleston Fire Department, we'll explore the Rusty Pick and hopefully find the location of this... What was it called? Brim Quarry. It's on a hilltop or a hillside. Okay, quite a few things over here I haven't discovered yet. Uh, this looks like a Hornwright purifier. Yep. the third nuke they've dropped since I've joined this server. Holy cow. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area. As long as it's not minutes. on top of me. Thank you for your cooperation. Shotgun shells. I'll take the pumpkin. Good for all of my recipes. Hey, more shotgun shells. I'll take it. And we scrap on up. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what the terminals are for inside the horn ride purifiers. They don't really do anything. I've uh, looked at the terminals in some of the other purifiers, and they likewise have done very little. Oh, what's this? I'll show you. The horn ripe purifiers are all over, but yeah, system unavailable. Doesn't let us do anything. So I don't know if it's for <clears throat> DLC or what, but we just can't do anything with it right now. Okay, an unmarked cabin next to the horn ripe purifier. Cop cap, I believe I have that cap already. Hey, dog meat steak.
Racer jacket and jeans. Ah, it's not really a rare costume. <clears throat> Electric Man says, Hi, Ox. I give the best of luck to you in the game. You cheer me up, and I wanted to thank you for making great videos. Keep it up, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Electric. Ooh, we got a lake. Uh, <clears throat> the not so real Scotsman says, Hey, Oxhorn, can you go back through the ship on Mothership Zeta once you get to the bridge? Uh, you can go through a few places, but not most of them. Unless you install a certain mod. Uh, when I did my series on Mothership Zeta, I did link to a mod that you can install that will allow you... Whoop! Oh, not far enough. That will allow, allow you to revisit the entire ship again. I'm not sure why they locked down the ship after completing Mothership Zeta. Because, I mean, that's half the fun, right? Being able to explore a ship that you've conquered. But that's the reality. I love marsupial. Who needs a jetpack? <laughs> All right, now I probably should swim in here just to make sure I've got everything. Whoa. Nuke number three. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. Do I jump higher outside of power armor? It's about the same. But I can use my power armor as a perch. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is the best one. I love that mutation. <sighs> Actually, I think you can jump higher outside of power armor. <clears throat> okay. Looks like a raider thing, strangely enough. Okay, so we explored the Hornwright Air Pure Fire. Let's go explore the Rusty Pick. And then we gotta see if we can find this mine. Oxhorn, what faction would you pick out of all of the factions? Oh, well, I, I guess the Minutemen, if they, if you could control them and <clears throat> cause them to become a functional faction. Um, yeah. The problem with Pain Train is that you do get diseased a lot because you still have to come into contact with the enemies. Which is silly because you're in power armor and you're bumping into them and you're knocking them on the ground and they can still disease you. That's frustrating. Okay, so this is the Rusty Pick and it looks like it's a bar. Let's explore this little bar. A good old mining town bar. Water tower, maybe? Not sure why electricity would need to go to the water tower. What is this? It's a door to nowhere. Plan MIRV frag grenade. Okay. It's probably pretty rare. This guy got tangled up in his chopper. 
Looks like raiders have taken this over, or at one time took this over. <clears throat> they created a stage out here on top of a flatbed truck. Look at all of these instruments. Two doors inside. Let's see which one we can access. Probably both. Ooh, it's an interior cell. Okay. Hello, what have we here? Join the Auto Miners Support Squad. Looking for a new career? Like working with your hands? Finding solutions to challenging problems? Fixing complex machinery in exciting environments? Then it's time you join the Hornwright Industrial Auto Miners Support Squads. We're looking for talented men and gals interested in earning good pay for hard work keeping Hornwright Industrial's fleet of advanced auto mining robots active and kicking. Pop by the Hornwright recruitment booth in downtown Charleston and sign up today. Okay, well, sure, the auto miners would be putting miners out of work, but at least you could get a job repairing the auto miners. down here a bathroom ah thanks little guy <laughs> he attacked the, the uh the ghoul Buff Canucks says, I hope your Seahawks do well today. Thanks, Buff Canucks. <clears throat> Stefano says, Ox never listens to comments. Okay. Le Funny Meme says, I'm back with donations. Well, I'm greatly appreciative. Thank you so much. There's a mine entrance in the basement, says Nocturne Chanson. Is that so? Sweet. Well, I'll have to check it out. It may not be the mine we are looking for, but hey, I'll explore a mine. <clears throat> Go to the nuke. Uh, no, I mean, I know you're probably new to the program, but we've, uh, we've really explored nuclear detonation sites in depth and fought lots of scorched beasts, including the queen. And, you know, that's not... Uh, as fun as that is, it's not something I want to do every time I broadcast. So probably not going to be doing that. Was there a way upstairs? No, it doesn't look like that. Uh, it doesn't look that way. So let's go down. A wrapped cap? A wrapped cap. I don't think I have that yet. I believe I do have a minor uniform. Oh, okay. We got <clears throat> Mick Flanagan's terminal next to a pompadour wig. <laughs> I don't think I have that yet. Clara Weber's diary. Clara Weber's diary. 
old tavern with a secret meeting hall built into the old mine access. This was a local watering hole used by the miners after their shifts, run by an older woman whose husband and sons were killed in a mining accident. Oh no. Passed down through her family, it sits on a forgotten mine access that was used as a speakeasy during Prohibition, which now serves as a secret meeting hall for the labor unions. Well, thank you for that backstory. Mick Flanagan's Terminal! <clears throat> Ravages, nope. R-A-V-A-G-E-S. There we go. Entry one. <coughs> the first layoffs hit Hornwright this week. Twelve men, all with families. Some of them worked at the company for ten years or more. No warning, no severance. It was all in the contract, you see. Hornwright reserves the right to terminate this agreement at any time without warning. It's kind of ironic how a bunch of stinking lawyers with pens could break the backs of miners with pickaxes. It's happened so quickly. It took time to figure out the cause. Turns out they started bringing in robots from that newfangled AMS company that built Watoga. That means something needs to be done before we all lose our jobs. Entry 2. Finally had a chance to speak with O'Connor and Fletcher today. They've agreed to gather 20 miners each and meet back at the woods outside of Charleston. It's time to meet and figure out how we are going to fight Hornwright, AMS, and anyone else that threatens our way of life. I'm sensing that a few of the miners don't want to join the cause, but we'll make them change their mind. It's all of us or none of us. There's nothing in between. The plan set. O'Connor's group is heading to Watoga to protest AMS. Fletcher's group will head to Charleston to flip the finger at Hornwright, and my group is going to slow down the works at the Rockhound and Mount Blair. We'll shout, we'll hold signs, and we'll swing a single pick until they're willing to talk to us. We got Sam Blackwell waiting in the wings to give us a hand if the companies are willing to talk. I only hope we can keep our people in line. I'm hearing some folks talking about going farther than just protesting. Garfunkel the Happy Clown says you should add coat patches to your store. Interesting. I'll have to look at, to see if those are available. Two of the folks from my group got arrested last night for throwing rotten vegetables at Penny Hornwright's limo. Cops said some bullcrap about assault, but how can you hurt someone with a tomato? We tried to put a call into Sam Blackwell since he knows the legal mumbo jumbo, but he suddenly isn't answering any of our calls. When I finally got through to his secretary, she said she hadn't seen him in days. This is a bunch of free, uh, free states foreshadowing. I hope this isn't a trick that AMS or Hornwright cooked up to weaken our side. Entry 5. Fletcher's entire group was arrested last night for trespassing on Hornwright property, and he got canned. Somehow the property line for the mine mysteriously moved 100 feet outwards overnight, and the miners didn't know they were standing on private land. That SOB of a CEO, Daniel Hornwright, waited until Blackwell skipped out on us to pull this stunt. So, uh, so likes to play dirty? Fine. We'll play dirty. Let's see how he likes it when we take some shovels to his damn auto miners. Word came in from Welch that a bunch of veins of ultrasight peeked out of their nasty mugs after a ground shaker two days ago. Peeked out their nasty mugs after a ground shaker two days ago. Lost half of my team when they ran home to start grabbing whatever they could. Not even 12 hours after the frenzy, AMS goon squads moved in ready to demolish houses to get at their property. People were none too pleased. That's when shooting broke out. I've called for another meeting with O'Connor's group. We need to act now before AMS and Hornwright erases us from the map. <clears throat> we read about this when we went into the AMS headquarters. I think it was two, two broadcasts ago. They were uh, doing underground uh, nuclear detonations looking for ultrasight and uh, accidentally caused an, an earthquake that destroyed the town of Welch. I believe that's what they're referencing here in this terminal entry. 
We've decided to split into two groups again. I'm taking my group to capture the Rockhound on Mount Blair, and O'Connor will take his to Bramwell to blow their mega mansion sky high. Since Horn Wright are such good friends with AMS, it's time to show them both we aren't the kind of folk that can be pushed around. After we're heard the here, it'll be time to take the fight to Watoga and burn it to the ground. Wow. Okay. It's possible this will be my last entry. So if anyone reads this and I'm being and I'm long buried, I hope they carry on the message and keep the fight alive. Was that a bobblehead behind the terminal? Doesn't look that way. Okay, I think I've got a little one knocking on my door. I'm, I'm getting all sorts of interruptions today. Sorry about that, but <laughs> such is life. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, parenting duty done for the moment. Now, <laughs> back on to what we are doing here. Safe, did we open it? No, we didn't. Technical data. Garfunkel says, uh, what do you think about a pint-sized slasher shirt? Sounds interesting. I might have to think about that for the future. Okay, let's see exactly what this speakeasy was like. Hey, there it is. <laughs> We needed another power armor frame. We've got another power armor frame. Let's drop that Raider power armor helmet. Actually, we could scrap it and then we'll just, uh, I see. Looks like I got to enter it first to claim it, and then I can store it. <sighs> Do you have any explosive weapons? No. Uh, frankly, my, uh, my weapons are not impressive. I don't have any good legendaries, double shots, or anything like that. <clears throat> I don't know how these players keep finding such amazing legendary weapons, but I don't have a single good one. I, I, I got the, the dragon. All right, I got the dragon. That was just a random lucky drop. Everything else is just, uh, you know, an upgraded regular weapon. This is a quest item, not exactly rare. 
So yeah, I don't know how players get all these ultra rare weapons, but um, I haven't found any good ones yet. Okay, so it looks like that was the speakeasy, and this is part of the tunnel that leads to the abandoned mine. Mole miners! I love a shotgun. I'm glad I did a shotgun build. I wish I had a shotgun that has a bit more punch. This guy is nice, but I feel like it takes two or three hits no matter what I'm fighting just to kill it. And I blow through ammunition. Martin says, "Have you? Uh, do you have slash consider buying explosive weapons? Um, I, that's not the legendary effect I would choose uh, if I was picking my legendary weapons. Only because uh, you can't really control explosions very well. You could easily attack someone you don't want to attack uh, with, with an explosive weapon. And I would be worried about that. Welcome new member Jeff Rose. Good to have you on the program today. Looks like we got a skeleton in this pile. And that part of the mine has been caved in. Well, we're going to be getting all sorts of mole miner lore, I hope. I'm getting glowing meat, though. <laughs> if, if Is that really mole meat? Is that what kind of meat that is? Hey, we got another hollow tape. Hello, Mac. I want to let you know I've procured those tools you and your boys were asking after. Along with all the nails and safety equipment you could need. But we don't do deliveries. Bring the money to my place in Welch. You know where to find the Duchess. Oh! This ties together that hollow tape that we heard at Welch. But I don't... What's her name? Duchess? Remember um, somebody sent their son to do a delivery or something like that? I'm having I'm having a bit of a memory, but it's not a full memory. Is that it for this little uh, this little place? Man, I think in a in a previous stream I said that my favorite place was uh, the mire, and and I still think it's great. But I also love the ash heap. <laughs> I love all of these mines and the pre-war miner lore of what went on here and the scandal and the unions and all of that. It's great. Welcome new member, Connor. Good to have you. Okay, now that we've got this place explored, we can move on. Although I think I'm encumbered. Am I encumbered? No, what's, what, what, what's wrong with me? I do have something. Medex addiction. Oh, I'm addicted. I take 50% more radiation damage. Yeah, that's not worth... Cons I will take my addictol. <clears throat> but uh, radworms is not worth my disease cure. With disease cure being as rare as it is and expensive to craft. No, thank you. Af de fast for de sass says, how is Fallout 76? So I've been told it's not single player or something. It's a multiplayer game that you can play solo. Um, if you're interested, this is day 25 of me playing the game completely by myself. I've already maxed level. I'm level 70 something. I've completed the main quest. There are three scorch beasts in the sky. Okay, I don't think I want to go that way. <laughs> Let's go around. Uh, so yeah, it's totally a game that you can play by yourself. Easily, you can easily play this game by yourself, which is what I'm doing. In fact, I would argue that the game is hard, harder to play multiplayer <clears throat> because, um, first of all, 
you can't really enjoy the story if you're playing multiplayer because all of your companions are constantly wanting to continue forward and move on where if you want to stop and enjoy a little bit of lore, you can't because they don't want to sit and wait for you to listen to a holotape or to read a note. And uh, the more people that are in your party, the more people that are in the location, the more enemies spawn. Um, we have found that uh, in my gameplay when I've been exploring a location. I'll be in a mine, for example, and then and suddenly a level 80 person will enter the same mine, and the entire mine respawns to accommodate for, for more people being in the mine. So I would argue that it's easier to play. The game is easier to play and more enjoyable to play. Ah, no, and I was trying to avoid the doggone scorch face. Ah, okay, hold on, I'm gonna loot everything up here. Uh, station. Ah, three, three of you stupid scorch face. Oh, that's what I get for getting on top of a roof. Caesar says there's a note on the stage outside. It's a song list. Oh. Thank you. I'd hate to have missed that. Let me check it out as soon as the Scorch Beasts are gone. Okay, let me, um... Well, I have a lot of bobbleheads, but I want to I wanna sell them. Let's eat up to heal Cranberry Cobbler. Uh... What have I got? Purified water, I guess. Okay. Still caution? How am I still caution? Thank you. Nicholas Cross says, Vera Keys was addicted to Medex in Sierra Madre. Basically, it's morphine, or was before they changed all the real drugs into fake drugs. Um, it's, it's like morphine. It has a similar effect. Incidentally, I was thinking about this the other day. The entire Vera Keys and Sinclair storyline, you know how that story is told to us? That's right, through holotapes, notes, and terminals. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. The Dead Money DLC for Fallout New Vegas story is great, but the entire plot, the main plot, um, aside from, you know, Elijah, is told through exactly the same form of storytelling that we get here in uh, Fallout 76. Jess White, Honky Tonk set list. Uh, Friday, October 22nd, Outdoor Honky Tonk set list. In Time, Psalms, Hellbent, Sea of Tears, Tornadoes in Texas, The Railroad, Snake Song, Carry My Body Down, Wayfaring Stranger, Lead Me Home, The Devil's My Running Mate, Soul of a Man in 13. Oh, that's really... <clears throat> lots of good folk music there. Okay, well, we survived. <clears throat> Looks like there's an event going off at the Charleston Landfill. Well, I want to keep exploring, so let's go this way. I don't believe I've done that event, though. I haven't done that event. I want to do it. Let's go do it. Oh, wait, no. That's a... Okay. That's a... That's a claimable location. I get it. Okay. We've got an undiscovered location off to the south-southwest. The Scorch Beasts are gone. So let's see if we can... Maybe this is the mine that we're looking for. in the sky. Three of them. God. It's not that I don't... It's, it's not... It's the waste of time. Like, it's, it's the amount of time it would take me to kill these three, not to mention the stim packs and the ammunition. It's just... Why would I do that? Ugh. And what are they all doing around here? Okay, what is it that we have discovered? It 
This guy died on his smoke break. Abandoned mine site Kittery. Well, this was not what we were looking for, but it's new, and let's explore it. Hello. There are lots of little things around here. I just don't want to lure these doggone scorch beasts. What's down there? Okay, I can always come back. Can I make it up there? Yeah, I can. See what this building is. Where'd you go? Any tips on how to level faster? Uh, no. I mean, this this game is not... It's not hard to level in this game. I, I, I always say when they ask me, just uh, play the primary quest. By the time you finish the primary quest, you'll be in your 40s or you'll be level 50. You'll have gotten all of the experience you need. Um, it's really all you need to do. Then, once you complete the primary quest, another plan for an I MIRV frag grenade. That's two I've got in this play session. Once you've completed the main quest, then uh, you can explore all sorts of wonderful side locations like I'm doing now. This, honestly, is, is, the, is the most fun I'm having with the game. I enjoyed the main quest, but the thing I love about Fallout is this, where I don't really have a set objective. There's not something specific that I have to do to complete the quest. I'm just on my own schedule, exploring as I see fit. And uh, so that's why I'm having more fun right now doing this. Let's head on over to this sign, see if we can figure out what that skeleton was all about. Someone turned this into a little house. Submachine gun muzzle break. Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't know what's seen me, the Scorch Beast or the... Uh... Did, I lo did I loot the, the mod? I think I did. Jobs today or blood tomorrow. Wow, they really were threatening violence, weren't they? Not cool, guys. Not cool. <laughs> right, in, right in my face. Out in the corpse is gone now. Lost all that meat. Let's go around the other side. Anything over here? Nope, that's it. Okay, so back up to the mine. Man, I really need to scrap some stuff. I need to find a workbench pronto. Mm. 
Daniel says, hey, Ox, I have so much fun watching you live stream Fallout 76. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Steven says, I'm the same way. Still have all of the main quests, but it's kind of like do what I feel like doing. Yeah. I mean, when I started playing Fallout 76, I, uh, I, I, <laughs> I abandoned the responders quest pretty early and just went off and did my own thing. And I was having a ball doing that. But then I began to realize that um, I was discovering locations that were important for the main quest before I got there in the main quest. And that was, I, I didn't want that to, to interrupt the story. Like I didn't want to spoil the story or mess up a quest. So then I went back to the main quest and finished it first. And I'm glad I did. And now that that's done, I can feel more free to just explore which I'm really enjoying. Still three in the sky. <clears throat> Let's see what's in this floating pod over here. And uh, then we'll go into the mine. Miner's lockers. Jay Alexander says, hey, Ox, I love your work on Fallout 76. Thanks. I've had a lot of fun with the live streams and my lore videos. I've got some more lore videos that will be coming in the coming weeks. I want to finish up my series on Yes Man first. Uh, then I believe I'm going to do an episode on L.A. Noir. Then I'm going to do a short series on Fallout 76. Then, well... Then I've got Fallout 3. I've got a special a special short series on Fallout 3 that will be a lot of fun. Looks like that's it for up here. Time to go down. Uh, Christina says, please read. Will you be doing Fallout 4? Please. I really love you. Can you shout me out? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, I've... I started with Fallout 4 on this channel. I've done hundreds of Fallout 4 videos, hundreds of them, um, and I've exhausted almost everything you can do for Fallout 4. Now that said, I still need to do a series on the full story of Fallout 4 and a series on the full story of Far Harbor, so there's still content for me to do, but um, you know, there's a lot more low-hanging fruit in some of the other games. Okay, so this is a token redemption terminal. Standard Hall, 10 tokens. Rich Hall, 20 tokens. Exceptional Hall, 40 tokens. Jackpot Hall, 100 tokens. Insufficient tokens. Huh. Claim Token Exchange Terminal. Well, where do we get the tokens, huh? Inside, I suppose. Danger, abandoned, mine, keep out. Is it abandoned? Another claim token, exchange terminal, some sort of vending machine that doesn't work. Uh oh, it looks, oh, don't tell me we can't enter. Oh, all of that and we can't even enter it? Bummer. Vaudweller says that's for an event. The token redemption terminal is for, a, is for an event. I see. Well, uh, okay. Where, where will, look at this. We've got to find a needle in a haystack here. Um, anything on my mini map? Discovered, discovered, discovered. All of that has been discovered. As far as the eye can see, I've discovered it. Okay, so let's walk off in some direction. Uh, we could go over here. Looks like little has been discovered over here. We could try and go through this mountain range. If there's a mine, it's going to be in here though. Like this is where the mountains are. This is where the mines are. So my best bet is to keep going this way, I guess. All right, let's keep walking. Hopefully, we'll find a uh, workbench in a bit. There we go. Something up there that we haven't discovered. 
right up in the hillside, which is kind of where we, we, we need to go. All right, let's go that way. You did a series on Fallout 1. Are you planning to do a series on Fallout 2? Yeah, eventually. Are they following me? I feel like they're following me. Come on, doggone bats. Garfunkel says, give the Boss Revolution a shout out. Shout out to you, Boss Revolution. Yeah, hi. Hi, how are ya? Doing good, having a good day? Love the weather, huh? Fresh air, radiation, ash, you know. <laughs> Keep flying. Keep flying. I'm not here. I am... Doggone it! Thanks for staying on the ground the entire time. That was convenient. Brawler's robot left arm. <laughs> okay, got him. That was nice. <clears throat> now, one down, three to go. Hopefully the other three don't um, start coming for me. Climb this hillside. What is on the other side? You should really use all rise to kill scorch beasts. Yeah, it's broken and in my shop right now, or in my uh, yeah, my uh, stash. I'll uh, maybe I'll repair it when I get back. Huh. Rollins work camp. Human bones in the outhouse. What a way to go.
Hey, another lever action rifle. Oh, wow, they're really dropping. <clears throat> they're really dropping now. Now that I'm in my 70s. Now that I can't really use them because I've got a better option. Well, is that all there is to this little place? The Rollins work camp? Just a couple of trailers? Hey, okay, we see a few more things off in the distance. This is good. A red rocket truck stop and another mine. <clears throat> Savage Divide treasure map. Hey, hey. One of these days, I really need to just track down each of these treasures. One of these days, I'll, I'll just dedicate a broadcast to it. See what we can discover. Okay, we got a big uh, crane in this workers camp. Hey, there's another mine over there. Wow, that's a huge, huge crane. Talk about earth moving equipment. All right, let's uh, head on up. There's the cockpit. Man, this must have been one of the strikers, one of the um, one of the miners who was striking with a missile launcher. Man, you really ratcheted up the violence, didn't they? Can I get up there? What's this? Oh, a couple doctor teddy bears with the jangles, the moon monkey on top of a rock. Ew. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> He's going for a ride on a rocket. I see. So a bunch of scientists getting ready to shoot the jangles, the moon monkey into space. Looks painful. Is that a note? I can't take it if it is. Okay, 360 degree view. Man, look at this. Ah, oh, I love the devastation. Looks so great. Okay, let's see. We've got discovered, 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 undiscovered, discovered. So yeah, continuing southeast. Looks like that's where we need to go. 
One undiscovered mine. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so we got a carousel over there. Oh, there's a lot. Uh, okay. Let's do a big loop. Let's go this way. Ooh, this guy. Buried in the muck. Yuck. Okay, red rocket. Nope, there's a mine. Nope, yep, red rocket this way. Is that a vault? Is there a vault over there? It looks like a vault. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I think we found another vault. <clears throat> All right, well, let's go through what we've got. We've got a bunker up here and a red rocket. Let's discover those, then go towards the vault and the mine. And then we can head back. What town is that? Is that Welch? No, that's something else that we haven't discovered yet. Looks cool. <clears throat> Not going inside the crane, says Ash. Didn't I go inside the crane? I thought I went inside what you could go inside. All right, tell you what, once I discover a... Uh, uh, weapons workbench or something that I can reduce all this scrap. I'll fast travel back and then we can uh, And we can see if it, there was anything I missed Red Rocket Filling Station. All right, hey, a weapon, a power armor workbench. Let's scrap on up. Woohoo! Dro drops us down to 352. Okay. <laughs> what do we Oh no, another you mine at vending machine. Oh. Well, <clears throat> we got to do it. Excavator's map, miner's map and the prospector's map. Do I have enough? I do. Excavator, miner, prospector. Prospector. Whoa. Miner. Oh, some sort of glitch. And then excavator. Mm. 
Man, there's some sort of animation glitch going on here. <clears throat> All right, we got three more lucky strikes. We'll have to track them down. I don't know if we're going to do that right now because I'm kind of an, in an exploration mode. <clears throat> Fallout 2 ETA soon. TM. Hey, my camp. Let's scrap all this stuff down, deposit it, uh, deposit it, then we'll head back to the crane, see if there's a way to get inside. See if you're right about that, if I really can get inside. And then we'll continue on our exploration of undiscovered locations. Now. All right, we got a porta potty out here. Oh, what are you doing? Calling nature? Okay. Can't enter this shack. Looks like that's about it. All right, let's scrap down, deposit our junk, and move on. Anything I can scrap, the chainsaw. It's a level 20 item. I really don't want this. The short lever action rifle. Sweet. is to save space, put the power armor pieces on the frame, store the frame. There we go. And it's like I never scrapped my old frame. Sweet. Anything I should repair? Yeah. Man, I really need to repair my black diamond. Actually, my all rise is what I want, but I don't have a. There's not a weapons workbench here, is there? <coughs> Chemistry station. Power armor workbench, but no weapons workbench. Okay. So, uh, you said I missed something at the Rollins work camp. Let's go back there. Two caps. Then we'll head back and continue exploring. Okay. Now, did you say there was a way to get inside this thing? I thought I did my best, but... Let's see what I missed. Garfunkel with a tip. Thank you, Garfunkel. Okay, so those... Uh, let's just go around until we see the door. There's an elevator. Hey, Oxhorn, greetings from South Africa. Greetings, Francois.
I passed the door. Yeah, guys, uh, I, I, I agree with Draco. I think you're thinking of the big excavator over there, that green and blue thing off in the distance. This you can enter at Mount Blair, but this tiny one at Rollins' work camp, I mean, there's no, there's no way to get inside. So, yeah, I did explore everything that was here. Okay, back to the Red Rocket Truck Stop, and then we will continue exploring. Four caps. It's okay. I'm not upset. Okay, <clears throat> now we've got a bunker and a mine and a vault. Lots of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> do I want to keep going that way for the bunker? No, you know what? I don't want to do the bunker right now. Let's go this way for the mine and see if we can find that vault. Okay, let's stop tracking these for now. That's great. Just walk right in front of me. <laughs> Have everybody just walk right into my path. Abandoned <clears throat> mine shaft number two. So this is not the one we're wanting. Wow, all of these mines we've discovered and not a single one. Okay. Um, well, let's explore it since we're here. Okay, bye Ox, <clears throat> says Garfunkel. Bye there, Garfunkel. Ooh, what's this? We got a miner's key. Open the miner's locker at Kerwood Mine. Okay, well, we've done that. <clears throat> so I'm guessing that the miner's key is just a repeatable radiant quest because we've been to Kerwood Mine specifically because we got that key in the past and we just got it again. Someone died here recently. Which probably means I shouldn't step on this, right? <laughs> if I find a bag of someone else's loot, I probably shouldn't step on this. But there is something down there. 
Can I at least step on the rim? Looks that way. Just toxic water, eh? Not very deep, either. Right! <clears throat> well, that's the latest one. Let's turn off this miscellaneous quest, which we've already done. Oh, we got a miscellaneous quest when we went to the General Steakhouse. Okay, um, taking a look at our mini-map. We got another mine over there, a mine here, and a vault over there. I gotta see what this vault is. I'm sorry, but I gotta. <clears throat> I don't know which vault this is. I know we won't be able to get in it, but I want to see what it is. Is it at the top here? Attention! Possible agitator presence detected near breach site. Location must be clear before breach can occur. Breach? What is that? What event is this? Event, breach, and clear. All right, well, the vault will still be there. Let's see what this event is. Ooh. Rhododendrons. We've got a bit of a junk pile up here. And a factory that we were discovering for the first time. Hornwright testing site. I see. Does that mean we're going to get the, uh, the Hornwright mining worm thing? What was that? <laughs> it's like a, um, a mole rat just stuck in the ground. And I bet this guy will be the same. Yep. Is that it? Uh oh. Where is this breach going to occur? Right in the middle there, I'm guessing? Is that that big machine that we discovered at the Hornwright offices? Over there? Nope, there it is! Hey, hey it is! Man, what a cool little machine. Initial container batch unsealed. Additional containers queued for unsealing. Now. Oh, collection containers. Nothing. Now, additional agitators closing on breach site. Workers, activate riot defense procedure. Oh, wow. So we can only do it if we've been to Hornwright Industrial. Yes. Um, in a minute. In a minute, sweetie. No, where are you? Are you in the door? Okay, well, I'll be right there. Oh, you can see, oh, you're looking under the door. Clever, clever. You can see my feet. All right, I'll be there in just a minute. Harvest material. Oh, there's some up here.
Thank God for marsupial. Who's shooting at me? <laughs> Ultra sight. Wow. We're, uh, we're really getting quite a haul here. But it requires that we've got the Hornwright Industrial Key, which we got uh, by heading to, uh, by uh, arriving at... <laughs> I don't know how I would have been able to get those if not for uh, Marsupial. Yes. In a minute, honey. She wants me to play with her dolly. In a second. All right, hold on. Want me to open that for you? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. Is it a bottle? I love it. Thank you. So this is what it was used for. To collect materials underground and deliver them to some of the Hornwright sites. That's cool. Man, I'm getting all sorts of ore. That it? That's it. She wanted me to open up a little package. She got, um, what are they called? LOL dolls? Apparently those are the big, the big hit toys this Christmas, LOL dolls. So she got some LOL dolls from her uh, auntie. And the gimmick about the LOL dolls is that they're packaged. <laughs> they're infuriatingly packaged. Like they give you this, this magnifying glass, a color-coded magnifying glass that you have to use to uh, <clears throat> decode something on the, on the wrapper. And then you have to use that code to open up this plastic little capsule. And um, the kids love it. They think it's just the best thing ever. But uh, they need help putting it together. <laughs> I 
Well, I need to find a chemistry station, don't I? After getting all of that ore. Hey, weapons work badge, yeah. Ox drink, okay, okay, I will drink. I will drink a beverage just for you. Caesar says the chat is yelling furiously for you to drink. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm going to modify my shotgun here and give it a better magazine. Superior ammo capacity. My weight goes down. Reload speed. Reload speed armor. Armor penetration ammo capacity. Improved reload speed and ammo capacity. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see what I got. Six. No. Ten. Okay. I wish it would tell me what my ammo capacity goes up to. Range, accuracy, fire rate, weight. But it doesn't tell me until I purchase this what my ammo capacity is going to go up to. So this is going to be an expensive experiment. Ten. No. Twelve. And what did I sacrifice for the twelve? Improved reload, reload speed. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, I'll keep with the drum magazine for now. I could get an automatic receiver. 143. Scorched. Killer's receiver? 20% less against everything else. Wow. What sites? I have standard sites. Let's get... Two nuclear material, though. Let's get a reflex. And in this one, I don't have anything. There we go. <clears throat> Much better. Okay, sweetie. Okay, now. 
chemistry station, chemistry station. My kingdom for a chemistry station. I guess I'll have to wait till I get back to camp to break down, uh, smelt all of this uh, ore that I just got. But there's a vault nearby. Let's go find this vault. Alley up! Is it in that house? No, it's not. It's moving too quickly over here. It's on the other side of this ridge right there. What is this? Is it in there? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, please. Come on, now. Hey, welcome new member. Nasty core. I just want to open this door. I just want to open the door. It's a door that I can open. Please don't crash on me. <laughs> I just want to open the door. No, oh, stop it. Ah, stop it. Bethesda? Bethesda, I'm warning you. This is your last warning. One more time, and it's the belt. That's it. It's time for the belt. Bend over. You're going to get a swat. Oh, come on. Please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, great. Now I got to wait for each of these containers to open. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, my gosh. If you're just, if you're going to crash, just crash already. Stop being indecisive. Pick one. You're either going to stay online or you're going to crash. Oh, I can't do a thing. Oh, God, finally. Curse you, gods. Curse you, Bethesda gods. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to break my keyboard if this happens any longer. Oh, oh. I just want to find this vault, please. Oh. No, just no. Okay, I'm good. No! No! I am gonna go refill on some water and get a cigar while Bethesda. Uh, sorry, I realized the microphone wasn't in front of my mouth. I'm gonna go refill on water and get a cigar while Bethesda has its existential crisis, trying to figure out exactly what it wants to be either a game that's online or a game that's offline. Uh, so once it makes its decision, we'll be able to play again. And in the meantime, you can stare at my lovely office while I get some water and light up a cigar. Hopefully my character doesn't die if the server indeed intends to stay online. Which it looks like it is right now. It's not... It's not... Hold on a minute. Did you finally choose one? Server instability? Okay. I was... <laughs> I think that instability is over now. We can finally um, loot up. Thank you for the tip, Lee. dead end, which means Ooh. that way to the vault. Okay, before I go to the vault, let's explore this little house over here.
Not sure where the super mutant came from. What is that? <laughs> I've never seen that emote before. Retreat! That appears to be it for the house. Confused, where's all this noise coming from? That's it. All right, what does this guy want? <clears throat> I don't understand your finger. I don't get it. All right, well, I'm going to move forward. Vault 63 ID card reader Vault access control terminal welcome letter this is the Vault 63 Access Terminal. Only authorized personnel are permitted beyond this point. Have a nice day. Vault door control. Sealed. Thank you for visiting Vault 63. Only authorized personnel beyond this point. Hmm. Is he wanting a picture? What is he wanting? Is there anything back there? Can you see anything? In the cracks? Nope, nothing in the craps and in the cracks. So we can't go in yet. Okay, what do you need? Here I am. Oh, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, all right. Well, uh, just like we discovered when viewing the other vaults, there was another vault we found here called 73 or something like that. 93. I forget. 
But we couldn't get in there either, so it's, po it's possible that we've got a big DLC thing ahead of us. Okay, we've been broadcasting for two hours and ten minutes. Now's a good time for me to refill on water and to get a cigar. So give me about five minutes, and I will be back, and we will continue on to see if we can find this doggone blasted mine. I've been looking all over the ash, pile, uh, the ash heap, or whatever it's called, trying to find this one mine, and we haven't found it yet. But let's keep looking. Be right back. Okay, <clears throat> almost ready.
<clears throat> All right, <clears throat> onwards. Wait, what's this? Guy, oh. Thank you, thank you very much. That's very kind. All right, I'll, I'll take the, f the, the dog food and the water. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a very kind gesture. Thank you so much. So that's the second vault I've found. I wonder how many vaults there are. Okay, taking a look at our compass. What's that? A tower? We haven't explored this tower yet. <clears throat> I do want to go there, but first I want to find this, uh, this mine, and it's no longer on my map. You know what? I, let's just go find the tower. Come on, it's going to be fun. A giant tower looming in the distance? How can you not love that? Let's go. Move my cigar over to the other side. There we go. Wait a minute, am I encumbered? I am. Why am I encumbered? I don't want to do this while encumbered. Let's see. Let's go to the Red Rock Filling Station, drop off all our junk, repair our weapons, modify them, etc. So, oh, it's all that ore. Yeah, it's all that ore. <laughs> okay, let's go smelt all of our ore, drop it off at, at home. Then we'll head towards the big tower. How about that? There's one vault per area. Oh, is that so? Each zone has a vault? Oh, that's great. Ooh, we've got another bunker coming up over here. We still haven't discovered that. Come on. I already killed you. I don't want to kill you again. Wow. Oh, well, <clears throat> that was a lot more of them than there were last time. I'm sure getting a lot of black titanium, aren't I? Okay, back to the red rocket. What are mole men? Well, that's actually what I was trying to figure out this broadcast. I was told on uh, <clears throat> on one of the, the comments from my latest video uh, that there was a mine here that gave us lore about how the mole men came to be. Uh, the problem is I can't find the map marker location for that mine. So I just am uh, trying to explore the ash heap. I mean, that could be it over there. There's the next one on our map. So I'm just trying to explore the ash heap to see if I can find it so we can learn exactly what the mole miners are all about. What is black titanium for? 
Uh, black titanium, uh, titanium is for power armor creation and repair. And as you can see, it's pretty, uh, it's not hard to find, honestly. I should raid these guys more often. I'm getting a ton of shotgun shells. Okay. <clears throat> there was a chemistry station behind here. Let's melt down. Man, I need more acid, don't I? That's it. That's all I can do. Hopefully it'll be enough. <clears throat> Cristobal says, Hey, Oxhorn, you're looking for Brim Quarry. It's east of Camden Park in the Ash Heap. It also has some Responder Fire Breathers lore. East of Cam Camden Park. So I'm I'm in completely the wrong location. I came all the way down here looking for it. I should have gone over here. Okay, cool. Thank you. B Rebel says, Hey Ox, have you found Vault 94 yet? It looks really cool and there's some nice lore. It's west of Abbey's Bunker, taking the small road to the mountains from Route 66. Yeah, I have found it. I found it on one of my earlier live streams. Hey, thanks for the tip. Cookie Slayer. Okay, well, since now we know where the Brim Quarry is, uh, let's, let's drop off all our junk and then go there to see if we can find it. Then we can always fast travel back here to explore this final tower. Sound good? All right, so... <clears throat> I almost had enough room, but not quite. I have way too much raw cloth. What do I need all this raw cloth for? Doesn't weigh much though, it's only 0 0.05. Asbestos is much heavier. I should probably consume some of my steel scrap by ammo crafting, but I'm all right. I'm not encumbered right now. Ooh, excavator rusty knuckles. Okay. It's almost like this place reset, but I didn't, uh, I didn't switch servers. That's weird. 
Yeah, this place reset or something. Because I, uh, let's try again. Dump the cloth and bone shards. Yeah, I really don't need it, do I? <clears throat> Good call. Yeah, let's just dump that. Bone shards. That's, I don't have much, but... Brings it down by four pounds. And then the cloth. Where was it? Raw cloth. Holy cow! Oh, that's 30 pounds of cloth! <laughs> Oh, yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> we could probably sell it for pretty well. But I'd have to bulk it first, and that's going to consume plastic. That's just going to drop Hi. it. This is Gabe Ramsey, and Whoops. I'm leaving this message to inform the Parks and Rec Department of the horrible experience my family and I had this week at the Alpine River Cabins. But we were all looking forward to a nice weekend getaway in the wilderness, but between the constant shaking in the cabin, rodent swarms, and blood-curdling screams, I'm more stressed than I was before. My boys were so upset they swore they saw the picture frame spinning on the walls. My tax dollars paid your salaries, so I demand recompense, or you can bet I'll do my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next to me. Antoine says, hi, I have to buy a very special cigar for my grandpa. Well, I hope your grandpa enjoys it. Okay, there's Camden Park. Let's just walk west. Hopefully we'll stumble right into it. Is that another Nuka-Cola bottling plant? No, that's the one I discovered way over there. Wow, I can see that far. Holy cow. Hey, there it is. It just appeared on our map. Need help, Oxhorn. Don't know about cigars. <clears throat> well, uh, you know, cigars are a very personal thing. Everyone has their preference. Uh, if you want to get your grandfather something that he's likely to enjoy, get him a Romeo and Juliet. A Romeo y Julieta. Uh, Churchill-sized cigar. It's a pretty standard cigar. It's the kind that Winston Churchill used to smoke. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good cigar. All right, we're right above it. It looks like it's on the other side of this ledge. Gaming with Firestorm says, I need leather and steel in Fallout 76. I need a lot of steel because I need it for ammunition crafting, but I've honestly never really needed any leather for some reason. Uh, something's going on nearby. That's it. <clears throat> All 
All right, are you ready for that juicy mole miner lore? That's what we came for. Man, this uh, <clears throat> marsupial mutation mutation is just changing the game for me. It's making it so much more fun and accessible. I'm so glad I decided to uh, keep this mutation. Now that I <clears throat> now that I have the perk cards for keeping mutations, I'm gonna have to go through the entire list of muta mutations and decide which ones I want. <clears throat> What's down there? Some sort of control tower and a pump house, maybe? Mackenzie says, my husband and I watch your lore videos and debate different ideas. Thank you for the quality content. You are indeed welcome. That's the cool thing about Fallout. <clears throat> it causes you to think about some uh, pretty serious topics. Some pretty interesting topics. Boxes, San Francisco, sunlights. I always wondered what those taste like. Hello, wall mounted safe. A locked filing cabinet. <clears throat> what have we here? Nothing. Wow. And a locked desk. I'm already encumbered. Let's do it again with a three pound fusion core. Fire breathers prayer. As I'm called to duty, Lord, to fight the flames this world ignites, I ask for your clarity, courage, and strength to fight this good fight. And if it is your will, Father, that among the flames I fall, please allow my soul to find peace, knowing I did my best to help them all. <clears throat> Poor guy. Hey, a Tinkerer's workbench! I can finally craft up some ammunition to use up all that steel I've been looking for. Where, where's my lighter? Oh, there's my lighter. Okay. Uh, let's see how much I need. A bit. Oh, almost forgot. Two hundred and thirty and four hundred and eleven. Okay. And I'm no longer encumbered.
that it? A big hole in the ground? Okay, well, let's go down the hill and explore this tower then. The entrance to the mine, I don't know. I guess it's in a hillside somewhere. It's a quarry though, right? Yeah, so it's not a mine, or it might not be a mine. Maybe this is it. Oxhorn, do you have the marsupial mutation? Yeah, I got it about uh, two broadcasts ago. It looks like this is a grave. Oh, it's a responder grave, and I was standing right on it. Ah, a fire breather responder's grave. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I got it about two live streams ago, <clears throat> and then in my last live stream, I went ahead, ahead and equipped the perks necessary to keep my mutations so that uh, Radaway and, uh, and Radex doesn't remove the mutation. sort of factory up there. Hello, Foreman's Key. Lieutenant Thomas's action report. Lieutenant Thomas's action report. 2140 20, hours, March 10th, 2095. Mission number 23, target Brim Quarry. Yas. Yas, Garrett, Dustin, Omar, and myself began our assault on Brim Quarry at sunset approximately 1915 hours today. Our scout reports indicated an amount of hostiles that were too close for our peace of mind. We encountered moderate numbers of, well, we aren't sure what to make of them. They appear to be bipeds wearing those old heavy miner suits. They grunt and shriek like monsters, but we find wallets, keys, watches. I don't know if I'll ever understand all the horrors of this new world. Results, camp at the quarry summit was secured, all hostiles eliminated, one casualty, Garrett. Dustin tried to console us, said it was likely painless, gone before he hit the ground. Still, he had just turned 20. The kid didn't know anything beyond this hell of a world. It made him strong. Just a kid, but willing to fight and die to help others. He deserved better. <clears throat> B Rebel says, which perk is needed for 21 shotgun ammo in crafting? The Ammo Smith perk. Which, thank you for reminding me, I need to unequip now that I've crafted my, my ammo. I expected the fire to draw the rest of them at the top of the quarry, but nothing came. Like other reports indicated, they don't seem to feel or care about anything. 
They can't be human, at least not anymore. We buried Grant near some crates in the shipping yard. It was the least we could do for him. At sunrise, we attacked the enemies uphill. The team knows that what we'll find up there. Before this, when I was a fire lieutenant in Charleston, the first thing we t taught rookies was to walk into the flames fearlessly. It's something I've tried to instill in the fire breathers and my squad. Whatever flames are at the top of this quarry, we'll be ready. Well, I think that clinches it. The mole men were human. But will we learn more? We found the foreman's key here. He said something about the top of the hill. Do we need to go back the way we came to find the entrance to this quarry? I mean, we found the corpse of Garrett, I believe. Which hill? Is it that way? Uh, it's at times like these I wish we had a local map. And here they are. These are the rest of the fire breathers. So we came here in the wrong order. We should have started down there and come up here. So they buried one and then the rest of them died coming up here. And then these are the pre-war miners. I don't know, I just feel like there should be more. It can't be just that note, right? But I'm not finding the entrance to a cave or... I mean, I guess that's it. We could follow these train tracks up here to this factory, see what this is all about. Maybe this will give us more lore. And if not, then we can head to uh, the AMS or AWS tower to see what's there. I love the trains in the Fallout universe, by the way. Aren't these beautiful? The engines, they're just gorgeous. Right, let's see what's up here. Hornwright testing site. Aha! What have we here? I should probably stop tracking steel, huh?
Drink. Oh, all right, 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 right. Drink. <clears throat> all right. I should really cook. I have a lot of meat in my inventory. Let's see, do I have any soups and stews? Or teas or anything like that? I've got a cranberry cobbler. Um, grilled radstag. I am encumbered. That'll help. Purified water. Yep, that's about it for now. That's about it for this location. That's it. What's that? What is that? Is that just a glitch in the matrix or is there a shining light up there? Almost looks like a lighthouse. <clears throat> oh, I'm thinking it's a glitch in the matrix. Looks like God, God Ray's gone wild. God Ray's gone wild. There we go. Yeah, there's the source of the God Ray. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, let's. I guess we've discovered the mystery of the mole miners. So let's head back to the Red Rocket truck stop and then head on over here. Water? Sure, why not? Okay, got it. What was that key for? Good question. See, that's why I'm confused, John. Uh, I, we found the foreman's key, but I turned that site upside down and I didn't see where we could use it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, we'll have to f find, figure it out someday, I guess. Okay.
Wasn't it for the luck, foul cabinet and desk? Oh, Draco, good thinking. It may have been for the file cabinet or desk that I picked before I found the key. Because, uh, yeah, the key was on the bottom, wasn't it? Was that the base of the hill? That might be it. Do you have any tips on how to get 48 caliber ammunition for the combat rifle? Craft it. I mean, <clears throat> there's no easy way to go about farming the ammunition that I know of. Um, when I was using the combat rifle, I just crafted it. It is. Is that one of those trams that went right to it? Oh, it was unfinished. It was under construction. Well, let's see exactly what happened here. Can we explore it like we could the others? Oh. if I can't explore this. After all that, if we can't actually explore it. doodads, floating pods of some sort. No, the door is buried if there ever was a door. Bummer. Well, where does that leave us? It leaves us with a few more mines out in this direction, and then we saw a carousel over here. Well, let's see what we can find. There was also a little city that we saw off in the distance right there. We haven't discovered that yet. Let's go see what that is.
some unmarked shacks. Always potential in these. And there's that bunker that we keep passing and never actually discover. Let's go discover it, finally. This guy got hit with white paint. At least I hope that's white paint. Man, that little town or factory looks really cool from a distance. Ox, the chicken on the map is a jumping course. Okay, well that's something to look into. Looks like another horn right purifier. The horn right company discovered that it could make a ton of money by extracting all of the toxins and chemicals in the atmosphere and condensing it down into a usable substance. So they didn't create these these air purifiers because they're just super nice. <laughs> they did it because they could turn a profit, which I suppose isn't itself a bad thing. <clears throat> Everybody wins in this scenario, right? Though we've already learned that the Hornwright Company is morally bankrupt. Oh, come on.
Ah! And it's blasted out. No lore. Bomber! But that was the bunker, just another purifier site. Then, looks like there's another quarry or mine over here. Let's go snag that and then head to that little factory or town or whatever. Hold on, my cigar is out. Gotta light it. Important priorities. And a fissure site looks like. That was rather sudden rain. <laughs> Just AMS testing site. Ooh. Automated mining testing site. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's blocked up. Ow. Something's around here. My caution meter briefly went up. Ooh. All of these people taking shelter in this one little shack. Oh, it's a rat. Okay. Kyla says, hey, Ox, thank you so much for your live streams and videos. You've helped me out so much in my gaming. Happy New Year's. Woo-hoo. Well, woo-hoo to you. Thank you for watching. Doing a little bit of uh, inventory management on the John. Three pound fusion core. Three pounds. Tepo Tulupu says Oxhorn, the foreman's key is for the event Uranium Fever, which can be started by talking to the Blackwater Auto Foreman. Ah, okay. I've done that event before. It's at a completely different location, though. Test launch 11. Control. All right, kids, let's check them off. Ordnance, are you go? Ordnance, we are go. Response, are you go? We are go. Recovery, are you go? We are go. That's go across the board. Ordnance, count it down. The site is red. Launch in five, four, three, two, one. Launch, blast detected. Response, how are we looking? Site is holding, no threat of collapse detected. Good news, recovery, what have you got for us? Uh, recovery? Give me something. Our jobs are on the line here. It doesn't look good, right? 
Ultrasight, Judy, yay or nay? It's it's negative. No ultrasight detect detected. SOB. All right, folks, that's it. Get your reports together. And tonight we break out the sad champagne. You mean the whiskey? <laughs> whiskey is sad champagne. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> I absolutely mean the whiskey. Once reports are in, well, it's been nice working with all of you. <laughs> okay, so they were blasting for ultra sight. Sadly, didn't find any here, so they pulled out the sad whiskey. <laughs> or the sad champagne. AKA whiskey. What's this? T45. <clears throat> I'll take the three pound fusion core, but I think I've got enough T45. Actually, I don't have any T45. But, uh, you know, I've got better than that right now, so. We'll leave it. Ox, how did you get your carry capacity so high? I'm using the Excavator Power Armor, which gives you a 100 bonus to carrying capacity. Let's lighten the load a little bit by eating and drinking stuff. All these magazines are half a pound each. Holy cow. Well, some of them are. getting to the point where I just, I really shouldn't loot fusion cores anymore. They're just too doggone heavy. Anything on his corpse? Nope. Come on. <laughs> there it is. there.
I wish there was an option to get like 50% walk speed out of the power armor at double fusion core drainage or something like that. Because then I would actually go through my fusion cores. No explosion? <clears throat> Security protocols. Simmons, double check with Hornright HQ before we turn this thing loose. Their demands for fail safes are ridiculous. We've got the bots set up to deliver access cards in the event of a system malfunction, but it's Hornright. Is Hornright even going to have supervisors on site? I wish they just automate the kill switch while they're at it. <clears throat> this whole job makes me nervous. Fusion core. Okay, retrieve bunker key card alpha and bunker key card be beta. All right, I'm gonna do that. Looks like they're over here. First things first. Head up here. Little ginger snuggles. Note to Hornwright, your time's running out, Hornwright. You've pushed us too far, and now we're coming for you. You won't stop us. Famous last words. Man, this glare is so bright. Here we go. Mount Blair Train Yard. Ooh. Keycard reader. Got to get in there. Oh, no. Retrieve the bunker key card. Oh, okay. Every day is a good day to die. Easy breezy. <laughs> Activate access keypad. Pardon me. Whew. Excuse me. Activate the other keypad. What? What is even going on here? What is going on? Activate the alpha keypad. Okay. Alpha, activate the beta keypad. Okay. 
Activate the other keypad. Okay. Oh, oh no, this just isn't right. Um. Gotta reduce weight. There, okay. Now, activate the master shutdown. What was that all about? Okay, I, I completed the event. I have no idea what just happened. I got a Gatling laser. Of course, a Gatling laser. Oh. <laughs> okay, well that event was fun. Now to explore this place and find somewhere to scrap down this Gatling laser. Was there a weapon workbench somewhere around here that I missed? All right, well, let's keep moving forward. We didn't go on top, did we? So bright, that glare. Let's check out this, this shack over here. Nothing. There's not even any scrap in here. Board up potties. Jobs today or blood tomorrow. It's a threat if ever I heard one. Oh god, another three pound fusion car. Oh, Kalalaga. At least one more. Let's see if we can find... Oh. <clears throat> hey, another power armor frame. T-60. Oh, man. Do I take the T-60? I mean, I could get some really cheap calibrated servos for the legs ah. ox don't you still have some ore oh yeah I do I need it I need to dump that I need to get rid of it I don't need it
Well, that took a while. Well, this is where you go if you want a hard hat. And you got your quite a selection here in any color. Alright, I missed a staircase that would bring me up here. <clears throat> How do you get so many fusion cores? I don't even try. <clears throat> I mean, I get three or four fusion cores every time I play this game. They even nerfed the loot tables of um, Robo Brains to remove the number of fusion cores in the game. And I'm still finding three to four per live stream. TNT Dome Key 2? What? What? TNT Dome Key 2? Have I have I been to the Dome 2 yet? I don't remember. Did I go to 2 already? Ox, read your plans to reduce weight. Good call. I know where the TNT domes are. I've opened two of them already, but I don't remember which one, the numbers of the ones that I've already opened. No, I haven't. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I'm carrying that doggone uh, Gatling laser with me, aren't I? You need fusion cores for the Gatling laser. Yeah, that's true. If I was using a Gatling laser as a primary weapon, I would be burning through them much more quickly than I am. <clears throat> well, uh, if I've never been to Dome 2, I guess that is where we should go next to see what's on the other side of that door. How much time do I have? I've got about 30 minutes. That should give us just enough time to finish up here and then head on over to Dome 2 if I can find it. <clears throat> Hold on, gotta relight my cigar. Oh, come on.
There we go. You're kidding. <laughs> what number is that now? <laughs> All right, let's head up the hill. Goodness, this site is just sprawling. Whoa! Can I? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, that's not fair. No, that's not fair. I can't jump in. <clears throat> wow, there's so much more. There's a shack over there. A shack there. And then something there. <clears throat> Another you mine it vending machine? Those are the exact same maps that I've already found. Do those, I, I bet you those respawn. So I'm not gonna buy any more of those. Well, how about no? Treasure map. I'll take it. I've looted at least six fusion cores this broadcast alone. <clears throat> that's how common they are in the game. Three pounds each, I don't even know. I mean, that's <laughs> carrying a lot of weight in fusion cores. Plasma core. Five plasma cores. Wow. And a Gatling plasma. And I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because I don't want to carry it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Lore. My name is Chase. And I like to train. So here I sit. What? Waiting in vain. The train don't go. Since the world get blown. Now it's just a change. And a pile of dead trains. James. James, there you are. 
You can't keep coming back here. It's not... Oh, shit. Put your mask back on. Let's go. Oh Sorry, Papa. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> That was really twisted. <laughs> that was really disturbing. The song was really disturbing, too. Uh-oh. Marsupial is making it difficult. My name is James, and I like trains. But there are no more trains, so here I sit. And now my name is just James. <laughs> oh, okay. Pint sized slasher? <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> right, well, uh. We got a problem, because I need to fast travel somewhere, but I'm completely encumbered. And I. <sighs> There's the red rocket. Let's go to the red rocket, and then we can go to TNT Dome 2. What do the plasma cores do? They're ammunition for a Gatling plasma. Is there any point to leveling after level 50? Yeah, uh, as you level past level 50, you continue to collect perks and you can respect your special stats. So, uh, continue. Oh, for come on! Where? It's just, just out of the blue. of them above me right now. <laughs> Trying to get to the red rocket truck stop so I can disencumber myself. Three! Three! What is wrong with this game? Why are three of these guys coming for me? <laughs> three! Why three? Golly! Just out of the blue! <laughs> More miners, too. Oh. Come here, yet. Why don't you land? Oh, <laughs> 
like the entire zone respawned and converged on me. Yeah, no, 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 you can go back down. I can't see a doggone thing. Oh, come on! Of course! Of course! Of course! On down. Thank you. Right in the butt. Right in that bat butt. Well, for the love of Pete! <laughs> Where did that third one go? Not that I'm complaining. Whatever, I don't care. Oh, there he is. Just stay over there, please.
Okay, I stored all junk. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's store all of this ore. Holy cow, that's a lot of iron ore. Man. Oh, I have opened Dome 2. I have. Because I've got two keys now. How did I how did I get two keys to TNT Dome 2? Okay, well that tells me I don't have to go all the way back there to open the dome, because I've already opened it. Well, that was exhausting. <clears throat> Bob Almighty says the Oxhorn, the batteries included perk, reduces fusion core weight. Yeah, I, I hate... The thing is, I hate to buy a perk for the sole purpose of reducing carrying weight. That, bo that bothers me. But then again, I am in completely encumbered right now. I'm at 345. Even after depositing all of that, I'm still encumbered. How am, I, how am I still encumbered after all of that? What am I carrying that I don't need? Scrap your Gatling laser. Thank you. That's what it is. Thank you. And I don't need that. <clears throat> I'm still encumbered, but not by much. Let's deposit more of our scrap. And then eat some of our food and that should do it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I think that's about it for this live stream. Tell you what, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to the Enclave Bunker to see if <clears throat> that jetpack mod has spawned at all. And then we'll end the broadcast. Sell some bobby pins, carry less aid. Your fusion cores, you have 25 and each one weighs three pounds without the perk. Yeah, I know. I should go sell as many fusion cores as I can. So to do that, let's go to White Spring Station. Sell to the merchant. What, I can't travel there? The 2MC ammo for your... What? <laughs> what was that? The ammo for your Gauss gun uh, weighs 100 for you without the perk. Well, maybe I should get that perk. Maybe it would help. But that said, I still have way too many fusion cores than I need. 
your service, sir. And I can't sell my fusion cores. That's right. Can't sell them. May I be of assistance? I can sell this. And I can sell aid. Let's get rid of these bobbleheads I don't need. May I be of assistance? At your service, sir. Do I have any food that's going to spoil soon? Nope. All right. Go to the bunker. Max out that perk since you practically only use energy weapons. Uh, I mean, I do use my shotgun a lot. Begin and end the stream by seeing if we can get our hands on that jetpack mod. Of course, I've bought so many things that maybe I won't be able to afford it if it does, if it does come up. That would be a bummer. Do rifle perks apply to the Gauss rifle? I hope so. I'm operating under the assumption that they do. Fissures across the region were added to the room's tactical map. In case you're looking for useful targets. Headlamp and optimized bracers. Nope. Nope. Swing and a miss again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this live stream, day 24. Four, five, whatever day it was today. Uh, had a lot of fun. Discovered a lot in the ash heap. Still much more to discover in this game. Uh, if you have any suggestions on where I should go next, something interesting that I've missed, let me know in the comments below uh, when this is live up on YouTube, and I'll add it to my list of places to visit. Otherwise, tune in tomorrow morning. I'm going to have a new lore video for you. Part three of our Yes Man ending for Fallout New Vegas. <clears throat> a long-awaited video. I already have it done. And it's ready to go. So I'm excited for you all to see that. And then remember, I take Sundays off. So no live stream on Sunday and no lore video on Monday. But next week, I've got a bunch of content for you, including more live streams and more lore videos. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you guys for coming to this live stream. And I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. See you all later.